Hi there, Flytrap Store friends. This is Leah at Flytrap Store. I was doing some potting up of some orders today and I thought it would be nice to make a little video to let you know when to repot. Uh, it's hard to know. Uh, the general timeline um, would be nine months or so. We used to say a year, but turns out, man, uh, Flytrap loves a fresh repot. I mean, if all else fails and you don't know what's wrong with your plant and you've addressed everything you think you can, a repot's usually pretty helpful. Um, but I wanted to show you the different stages and, um, and also how you can tell. So in general, after about nine months, fly traps need repots. And you can tell because for one thing, look at the top of this growing medium here. Look at all that uh, carpet moss that's on there. And also look at on this plant, how deeply it's nestled into the growing medium. That is not uh, good for the plant. It does that during dormancy sometimes, and actually quite often, um, but then pops back out. But this guy is down there so far that he's struggling on a lot. And look at his little friend here, right here. I mean, you can tell he is not going to do... If I don't repot that, he might not make it. He really needs to get up there. Um, he's kind of like pushed way down in there or has snuggled himself down in there. And so that these guys need to be repotted for sure. And then these, you can tell they need to be repotted. They, they look like they're potted okay. They're not um, placed irregularly. But there's so much carpet moss that it's actually going to snuff them out. You can see how it's already crawling up on them and trying to overcome the plant. And that will not end well. So we want to rid the plant of that. And this guy right here is another example. You see all of the death and it's not normal it's not like a dormancy die off um, where you still have that little rosette in the middle it's just all over the place you know and there isn't much new nice growth coming out as a matter of fact let me try here right here where you see all the yuckiness oh yeah if I poke my finger in that whoa that goes way down that tells me that that there's been a lot of die off there and so now we've almost got an exposed rhizome because of that um so you see some irregular die off here and then especially when I felt down there next to the rhizome and found that depression that's an indication um, that we need to repot these guys so when you repot you want to unpot them first um, we use long fiber sphagnum as you probably know um, high very high quality and um, it does it's tough to unpot the plant because it really wants to um, stick together in one big ball <laughs> so what I do when I unpot as you see with these guys is I leave as much as I can around the roots uh, I don't even try and mess with it and pull it off because all you really need to do is put the new stuff around the rhizome so as long as I can clean that off I don't even mess with the bottom I'm not going to try and extract that I don't want to break a root it won't kill the plant but it will take a lot longer to recover so I want to avoid that and so you just want to gently sort of like move it around with peat, it's a lot easier. You kind of just gently shake it off or put it in a bowl of water and rinse it around. Um, it's, it's a little harder with this moss, but just take your time and it's fine. It's worth it because this moss is great. So we've got these bare root plants here. We have another video that shows me potting them. So you know how to do that. The keys are, you know, don't overpack it and also don't have any part of the rhizome up above um, the top of your pot you know just hanging out like an open heart that <laughs> you never close up um, and also you want to um, make sure that the bottom part well this isn't integral but it's helpful the bottom part of the pot with the moss is packed pretty tightly but not the top part so the bottom part you want to retain moisture and make sure that it doesn't dry out too quick that's why you pack it tightly and the top they just don't like to be you know twisted around and suffocated in there so you want it dense kind of like angel food cake or like a wet sponge or something but not you know like a brick I had someone helping me pot before she was potting them like brick I mean I literally could like throw them and hurt someone it wasn't it was not and they struggled very much so here's an example also of a pot of plants that eventually will need to be repotted they're actually doing great right now but there are multiple plants in there and eventually they're gonna start 
rubbing shoulders too much they're gonna grow out and you will notice because they will start to not look very good for no other reason like you if you've already checked out and saw that they don't have mites or um that they're not dormant or anything like that and they just start declining and you've got all the good care let's say you have them in outdoor sunshine and you've got mineral free water and growing medium and everything and they're still not doing well and they're practically like this then they need to be repotted separately i mean there's probably i don't know like four or five plants in here um that would do better if they were separate but they're doing great right now so i'm not going to mess with them at this time i'm going to give them a little more time until they start looking well not until they start looking like this but if if they start declining at all then they're going to get a new home where each one has their own little hole which is like what i did here they all have their own little hole but that gosh darn carpet moss is creeping on them so i need to repot them okay so after you repot here's an example they don't look good for like two weeks and it's okay <laughs> as long as you see good new growth coming out so if you look at these guys here i recently repotted these probably mm, maybe like a week ago and you see they're all laying down flat so if it's a tall one then they'll they'll just like this etna look at that he's like eh, i can't help so they'll lie flat they'll perk back up eventually but initially that happens they'll lose some traps for sure some more than others you see this guy he lost a lot of traps um etna not as many and the other thing that you might notice is they're kind of pink it's kind of pink well that's because that stuff was um, kind of smushed underground and so that's some slight sunburn it's fine as long as it's not extreme um, direct sunlight there so if you've got really bad strong sunlight or really good but you know not for a newly repotted plant strong sunlight you might want to take it or you should take it easy on the plant in that direct sunlight directly after repotting it because it can get too sunburned and then it'll, it'll lose the trap it won't kill it but you kind of want to go easy on it for the first week or two after you repot them so that little sunburning is normal. Them being all droopy is normal. Just as long as they have good new growth. I think if I can zoom in, you can probably see. Look at that. Such pretty new growth. Happy, happy. Here we have some pretty new growth. So this is good. And then, oh my gosh. Then, let's say like four weeks or so after repotting. These guys here, the one I'm going to show you now, looked like these guys. And then it perks up. They just love being repot. Look at this guy. I recently repotted him. He's so happy. It's actually two plants. Super happy. You can see that a lot of traps had died off, but then sprout. Lots of new sprouts. Lots of beautiful new traps. They really have like a little growth spurt after you repot them. They're like super excited about it. And so that is how... They should look really nice and perk back up. No more droopy McDroopykins. No more sunburn. It's adjusted now. Look really nice. So that is the repotting um, trajectory. And if you have any questions, just write them on our page here on YouTube or wherever you find this video. And we will do our best to respond or email us at sales at flytrapcare.com and Matt and I will respond. See you later.